Well, ahead of tomorrow's March for Life, House Republicans are getting into the act, signaling their opposition to abortion. For a second year in a row, they are focused on passing legislation dealing with unwanted pregnancies. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales has more. Good evening, Tracy. There's definitely anticipation among pro-life lawmakers this week gearing up for Friday's march. They're holding news conferences, meeting with marchers, and even wearing pro-life buttons. Their main focus, says House Speaker Mike Johnson, passing bills protecting women and the lives of the unborn. Uh, we'll take this week, uh, as we do each year, to remember the value of every single human life and reiterate what we boldly proclaimed in our nation's birth certificate, that all men are created equal. All people are, and all life is sacred. But Republicans say the Biden administration is trying to undercut them. Congresswoman Michelle Fishbach says they want to cut funds for pregnancy care centers under the Temporary Assistance for Needy Families Program, or TAMF, and redirect the money to abortion facilities. She's introduced a bill. To ensure pregnancy centers cannot be excluded or restricted from receiving TANF funding. Make no mistake, conservatives are here for unborn babies and their mothers. We want to ensure those moms are supported throughout their pregnancies. Another bill sponsored by Congresswoman Ashley Hinson is geared toward pregnant women in college. My Pregnant Student Rights Act ensures that pregnant women on college campuses know about existing protections that will allow them to both continue their pregnancy and their education so that they are empowered to create the best possible future for themselves and for their child. But Senate Democrats are making it clear these and other pro-life measures are dead on arrival. We're here today to make clear to Speaker Johnson that advancing any legislation that seeks to further restrict access to abortion will not see the light of day in the Senate. But Congressman Chris Smith, co-chair of the Congressional Pro-Life Caucus, tells me the tide is turning. He's speaking at this year's March for Life. He and his wife have been going to the march every year since 1974. It is a great rallying point. It, it gets us all reinvigorated and rededicated. Uh, and the prayer power that will be at the march and in follow-up is just enormous. Congressman Chris Smith also introduced a bill last year that would permanently block federal funding for abortions. It's been prohibited on an annual basis since 1976. The bill hasn't come to the floor for a vote just yet, and that's even more uncertain now with lawmakers heading into the November elections. At the Capitol, Eric Rosales, EWTN, News Nightly.